Remember when we used to all be just so rightly mad about Premier Alison Redford and how much money she wasted on her huge executive council? Now that's the staff that works in and around the office of the Premier. It was gross. Redford at her peak of gluttony was wasting $28 million per year on her handmaidens and manservants in the office of the Premier. As Albertans, we were constantly outraged at the amount of staff Redford had and at the opulent salaries they were being paid out. Redford's chief of staff was making a little over $300,000 per year, and that was in much better times in Alberta. We certainly weren't headed towards 12-figure debt back then. I remember it well. The NDP had a lot to say about Redford's wasteful ways and the crazy, crazy salaries of her staff. In fact, NDP leader at the time, Brian Mason, said the compensation for managers is in ironic contrast to the settlement imposed on frontline workers. I think the government is more than hypocritical. Well, guess what? In Alberta's animal farm, the NDP pigs aren't any better than the PC farmers that we used to have. Notley's own budget projections for her office spending by 2019? 27 and a half million dollars, almost as much as Redford's before her own party finally had enough of her. And that is if Notley stops her hiring spree right now. We know she won't. The number is going to be much, much higher. Because even in these lean times in Alberta, nothing, nothing stops Notley spending money on stupid things. She increased the number of staff earning over $100,000 per year in her office by 20% last year, from 53 people in 2015 to 64 people now. While Albertans are being laid off all across the province because those same high-income tax burglars are writing policies that chase jobs and investment away. And not least Chief of Staff, by the way, he makes just barely under 300000 And we know it won't stay that way for long. And for once, for once, I agree with Brian Mason. The government is more than hypocritical. For The Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunraid. Have you subscribed to The Rebel Canada yet? It's your source for Canadian conservative news and views. To never miss a story, click the link below and subscribe today.